Hey everybody, it's Joe from Passion Unchained. Today I'm going to tell you a story about how hard it is to live a passionate life. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I am excited to share with you this story. Um, I sent out an email to my email list a few days ago. And if you're on my email list, awesome. Really excited to share your email. Eh, to share more of the story and updates. And if you're not, then get the fuck on my email list because why are you still watching? My email list is an awesome way to get even more content for me and uh, stay updated and get more tips to live a passionate life. So get on that. There's a link in the description for how to do that right now. Now, today I'm going to talk about the email which I sent and then the updates and then some even more gold that will help you build a passionate life and know what it's actually like in real life. Because a lot of people talk about building a life that they love, um, a lot of gurus, a lot of, um, a lot of authors, and they talk about one aspect of it, either the, the benefits or the challenges, and they don't really offer a window into what the journey is like, um, which is why I want to be more open and honest about my journey. And that's why I sent the email. I am coming up on rent, and as of a few days ago, I didn't have any of it. I had enough to pay my other bills, but not to pay rent. And um, I was a little nervous. So I decided to offer a little discount on some of my services, and I sent an email out to my email. I was like, hey, um, I've been homeless before. I don't want to do it again. So um, if you get on this quickly in the next few days, I will offer a discount on my services. Um, and since then, I have sold two of my precious items, which I will miss dearly. Um, my favorite lens for this camera, which is actually funny because I was not using the lens in the past few photo shoots. I say it's my favorite lens, uh, and I like a lot of things about it, but <laughs> if I'm being honest, I haven't been using it. I barely use the lens, so I'm like, well, I could get a lot of money for this, and I'm not using it. It's not, I'm not really going to miss it, so I might as well sell it. Sold it. Um, very quickly, actually, because it's a, it's a lens a lot of people like, plus I gave, I, I sold it at a little bit of a loss. Not even that much of a loss, actually, and if you count the fact that I got value from it by buying it last summer and using it for six months, um, the, the, I, I, it was like a loss of $200 or so. I sold it for 700 bought it for 900 but I got more than $200 out of value from it, so it's not really that big of a deal. I also sold my Xbox, which... I am a little sad about it. I do want to get that back, but um, I mean, it's probably best that I put my time, effort, and energy onto um, building my life right now and getting myself in a good financial place. So that's kind of good, actually, and I'm, I'm spending my extra free time watching YouTube. In fact, um, I'm watching YouTube along the lines of things that are like edutainment about photography or edutainment about... Um, fitness or edutainment about business and getting clients and that way I'm, a, I'm entertained but I'm also going further towards my goals so it's, it's a win-win um, and so this, this is about the, the this video is about the, the, the hills and valleys of building a passionate life because especially if you want to do your own thing and be a freelancer or have your own business whatever it may be for me it's photography <coughs> And in the future, I, I will offer more services. Um, like I talked about uh, a few months ago, it's important for me that passion and chain is a bigger thing than just photography. But right now, I'm focusing on photography, building that up. And it will always be at least some part of passion and chain. Um, and either if it's that or if it's uh, making crafts and going to fairs some people want to make their own skincare line I don't know whatever you want to make I, I at one point was making ghee and I was selling that at markets um, so whatever you want to make uh, that is great but the thing is you will go through a period of further instability before you create your own stability if you quit your job and you're getting a consistent paycheck every month of course you're going to go through a period where your finances are less stable. Now, if you can prepare for that beforehand, put a, you know six months of income, a year of income aside, then great, awesome. 
that's that's great. You're gonna you're gonna go through that period of more instability with that buffer. That means you're not really gonna worry that much. Um, but if you don't have that year of savings saved up or that passive income coming in, then it, it can be scary. Especially this time when it, I was like a week away from rent, not knowing how to pay for rent. And I had to sell a couple of the things that I actually don't really miss right now, but I thought I would miss and that I liked a lot. So you're going to have to find ways to be creative. Um, you're going to have to promote yourself. I'm doing, I'm pretty much staying at home. I'm doing some gig economy stuff, but I'm also like either working in a cafe or at my leasing office club area or in my apartment. Um, just making social media posts, reaching out to people, getting reviews from former clients, just doing a bunch of outreach to advertise my business, advertise my photography services. Um, because when you're, when I'm not getting clients, which I am, I mean, I'm getting leads. Uh, I could get more clients. I, it would be nice to get more clients. I'm still getting clients, but I want to book up more days and get more money because my, my, my goal is $10,000 a month and I'm not there yet. Um, I'm anywhere between one and three thousand dollars a month, depending on the month. Um, bad months are like one thousand. Good months are like three thousand. But I want to make that to like ten thousand minimum. So like maybe ten to fifteen. I want that range to be uh, ten minimum or ten average, really. So maybe like eight to twelve is fine if the ten is the average. Uh, but I need to put work into it. If it's not happening, I need to put work into it. So let me show you some of the posts that I put out. Let me open up quick time. Quick time. So I'm going to show you some of the posts that I put out recently and what it's like to be putting, going all into your passions. Like for instance, here's a post I put out on Facebook. Ooh, some people like my photo. I put out a photo. People seem to like it. So this is one I put out yesterday. Um, it's not Tinder's fault you don't get matches. It's your photos. And that's why I got into photography. I often book clients who tell me that my last, posted, my last post reminded them they want to go on more dates and they wanted, me, they wanted to book me to make it happen. But life got in the way and they forgot. This is why I post so often because life is complicated. Sometimes you need a reminder. So here's the reminder. No longer do you need do you get to make excuses for why you aren't going on the dates you want to go on. I'm here, outstretched hand, offering my skills to help you get the matches you deserve. And I have space in my schedule for more clients. So book your slot, get those matches, and build the dating life you love. The one you cry yourself to sleep dreaming of. You can actually have it. DM me and we'll make it happen. P.S. If you're already in a relationship... Share this with your friend who needs better Tinder slash Bumble slash Hinge photos. You know the one. PPS, I took every photo except the first one with me in it. Holding my camera, showing my client because, well, I'm holding my camera. I must give credit to my amazing assistant, Ed, for that gem. The editing, however, is all me. So, um, and then I have these photos, as you can see. <clears throat> These are photos I took. Oh, this is actually my assistant there. Um, Ed, awesome dude. And these are some photos I took of clients. Um, and then I'll, this is a photo, the photo I talked about that Ed took of me, because obviously I can't be taking that photo. I'm holding my camera. So, um, great shit. Really, really happy for that. I also put this as my uh, cover photo. Your dating profile sucks. I can change that today. Some of my best photos. Message me to book a photo shoot and get more dates. And then here's a recent one I did. Photography is just a medium for me, blah, 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 blah. Better photos equal more matches, equal more dates, equal exciting love life. So things like these, I have to sit every single day and be like, hmm, if somebody needs dating profile photos, how are they going to find me? What can I put out there that gets them to search for me? And also, obviously... Um, Instagram's a big thing. That's the same post. This is um, some other posts I was just practicing with my camera. These are slightly different ones than I would actually do. These are two posed to be um, dating profile clients, but they're still great photos. Uh, and then I have this one of my uh, one of my latest clients. Is a the, out of the camera. I look like that, and the editing worked out really well. Um, here's another great one. That's not a client, but uh, it. It would, it's similar to a shot that I would take if he was a client. 
then there's that one. There's that one. You know, some some of them from that shoot. He wasn't a dating profile client, but the shots that I took for him were extremely similar to what I would get from a dating profile client. So um, it's very representative of the work I would do. This is another client of mine. Um, and this is another client. So these are all good. I didn't take this photo, but I edited it for him. This is These are some other great photos that I took for clients um, of mine. And I just put out as much as I can. And then I put some photos of me in there too. Uh, those aren't me, but those are all the great photos. So I, I'm just pumping out as much content as I can because I want people to know that I'm out here and that I'm available and I'm getting reviews from clients, testimonials from clients, putting out videos like this and this is like a constant grind and I'm looking at videos from other photographers who make what I want to make and so they have their own advice and it's just if you're not where you want to be it's up to you and you have to Take all your free time, and I mean, not all your free time, I still have free time, I still do things, but you have to take all of the time that you can, that you're willing to do, maybe have a little bit of free time to hang out with friends, but take a lot of your extra time and put it into, hmm, how can I move the ball forward? Because you can't just sit there and wait for it to happen. If you do that, even if you do all the positive thinking in the world, you'll all the positive thinking in the world will get you a little bit of results, but if you couple that with actual action, like I'm explaining here, you'll get where you wanna go. It's inevitable. If you just don't quit, you will get there. And I'm really excited because I am getting more leads than before. I am getting more clients than before. And at one point, I'll be at that $10,000 a month mark, and then my challenge will be how do I maintain this and make a system where I don't have to be creative every single day and think outside the box. I can just be like, he, here, like here's the checklist, do everything on this checklist and you'll make $10,000 a month, easy. And then I can streamline it and then I can move on to bigger and better things. So I'm really excited to share this with you, just um, a window into what it's like to actually go all into building a life that you want, money-wise and passion-wise, because most people I see on Instagram or on, the, on YouTube or TikTok, they don't actually show you a window into what it's like. They, they, they distill their experience down into a couple of great lessons, which is awesome. Nothing wrong with that. I watch a ton of these channels, but... I think there's a missing place for here's what's actually going on in my life right now. It's not necessarily pretty, but here's the lessons you can learn from that. Wishing you the best. I'm excited to, um, to make more awesome content like this. Uh, check out my mailing list in the description below. And then also, if you want a dating profile photo shoot with me, um, message me. There is a uh, website in the description below. Just click on that link. It'll be pretty clear how to get on a call with me. There's just a link. There's a Calendly link. It'll, it'll be super easy. It'll just walk you through the process and looking forward to talking with you and getting you more dates and more matches. And then, of course, subscribe and hit the bell for all these videos. Until next time. Um, that didn't really work. That did not, that was not good content. Give me a second. How hard it is! How hard it is to live a passionate life.